Hello, in this video I'd like to show you how I like to tie the executioner fly and in this example we'll be using a Salah double in size 11 and to begin with we'll tie on using 8-0 thread so we'll tie on and do 3 or 4 turns to hold it in place and cut off the surplus we'll then use open turns to bring thread to the rear of the hook and again open turns to bring it back towards the middle. This done we want to introduce the tag which in this case will be made of the Garten tarnished silver tinsel in small and we'll do it to the underside of the hook. So two or three turns hold in place Now bring it up and we want to make three turns to form the tag. One, two, three. And then I bring the tinsel back between the barbs of the hook and tie it off with two or three turns. Now we need to cut off the surplus. There we go, and tidy up a little bit, that's good. Next we want to introduce the tail, which in this example is made of golden pheasant toppings. So we introduce it to the top of the fly, we tie on using two or three loose turns of thread. Now to position the tail, we just draw it forward until we get the required length. In this case, we're wanting about two-thirds of the length of the fly. Bit like this. About there. Now we want to tie it on properly. Two or three turns, there we go. And we want to cut off the surplus. This done, we now want to create a tag at the rear of the fly. Now, in this example, we'll be using Glow Bright number four. Now, this is quite thin, so what I like to do is double it over. and lick it to keep it together. Now we tie it on, on the top of the fly. And then we start the turns back towards the rear of the fly. Overlapping turns. And now bring it back forward again. There we go, that done. We want to tie it off at the top. Two or three turns to hold it in place and cut off the surplus. There we go. Put it up a little bit again. Next, we want to introduce the rib material, which will be again Legarten finest tinsel. And this time we want to put it on the top and bring the thread towards the front of the hook. There we go. Now we want to do the body and the body in this case is made up of holographic silver so and we attach this to the top of the body at the front, three or four turns to hold it in place. Now what I like to do here 
is give, put some varnish on the body of the fly for the tinsel to stick to. There we go. That done. We now want to wrap the tinsel on the body. Backwards towards the butt in overlapping turns. Once we reach the back, I like to again varnish the body. This just helps keep the fly together on prolonged use. So now bring the tinsel back towards the front of the fly again, again with overlapping turns. Once more. There we go. Now we want to tie it off. So three or four turns here and cut off the surplus. There we go. And again, a little bit more varnish. In this case we can varnish everything including the butt. There we go. Now we want to wind on the rib. So we bring it round the body, got the butt, and then open turns towards the front of the hook. Make them nice and even. So we're going to bring it back to the top. And we want to tie it off, so three turns of thread, bring it back on itself, two or three turns, and cut off the surplus. At this point I like to put a half hitch in, just to hold the body together if anything happens. There we go. Now because we've used so much varnish, we need to leave the fly to dry a little bit. Okay, the next thing to do is add in the wing. Now in this case you have two choices. Either you can use Arctic Fox or Fox Squirrel. In this case I'm going to use Fox Squirrel. So cut a piece off. Pull out any shorter hairs that you don't want. There you go, looks about right. Now, the wing is to be the length to the end of the tail. So it's about there. So let's introduce it. Looks about right. Yep. So we'll attach it two or three turns. And we can check if it looks right. Yeah, I think that looks good. So a couple more turns to secure it. Now we need to cut off the surplus. There we go. Now the next thing I'd like to add is a bit of crinkle flash. So one kind of piece. There we go and add it to the wing. Now we want it to be just short of the length of the wing. So about that. Over a couple of times and fold it back on itself. There we go. And cut off the surplus. 
looks good. Okay, what we'll do now is just give it a dab of varnish. Uh, just a safety measure. Okay. The next thing to do is add the front hackle. On this fly, I'm using a cock hackle dyed black. Just open up the fibers a little further. There we go. Take us about the right size. Okay, and introduce this to the top of the fly. Three or four turns to hold it in place. And then cut off the surplus. There we go. Now use hackle pliers to hold the feather. And then we tease the feather back on itself and just pinch it. It's just to help start it. And we're tying it around. So, grab the bottom of the feather, teasing it back, start winding it around the fly. Teasing it back all the time. Just one turn. In this case, we're going to do three or four turns. We'll see how it goes. Teasing it back. There's two turns. Three turns. I think it needs one more. I usually find that black ankles are quite fine looking and you can get away with tying an extra turn in. So just teasing it back. Bring it back to the top again. Okay, now we want to tie it off. So bring the thread over the top, bind it round the feather, hold it tight. Now two or three turns just to hold it in place. There we go. Now we want to remove the surplus. Pull it out. Remove the odd bits that are just escaped. There we go. Now we want to tease a feather back with our fingers, like that, and just wind the thread around to start creating the head of the fly. There we go. Now the last item on this fly, I like to add jungle cock cheeks. So get our jungle cock. We add one to each side. So add the first one about there. A couple of turns to hold it in place. Then we get one for the opposite side. That's about right. A couple more turns. Check that they're even. There we go. A couple more turns. Now we want to bring the stalks back on themselves. One on each side of the fly. And tie these in which will help keep the jogger cock attached to the fly. Three or four turns. And then we want to cut these stalks off. There we go, that's one. Another one. Uh, there's the other. There we go. Now continue on 
building up the head of the fly. Okay, now we want to tie off using some hitches. So I want to use three turns, make the hitch, about three or four turns to three, four, make the hitch, cut off a surplus, and there you go. The Executioner Fly. I hope you like it and happy tying.